Father. In Jesus Christ's name, Philippians 4, verses 18 through 19. Father, I thank you that John and Valet will minister to you, Lord, with their substance in Jesus Christ's name, Luke 8, 2 to 3. Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you that John and Valet are doers of the word, of your word, Father God. And John and Valet obey your word by giving, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Luke 6, 38. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Give you glory and honor. Now I'm going to pray prayers for the blessing of Carnell and Sharon over John and Valet. Father God, I thank you that John and Valet receive the blessings of Carmel and Sharon upon their wives. In Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let the excellency, excellency, excellency of Carmel be upon John and Valet's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 2. Heavenly Father, I ask that you let John and Valet's life be a fruitful field like Carmel. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 2. Father, I ask that you let the beauty and fruitfulness of Carmel be upon John and Valet's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 2. Father, I ask that you let John and Valet's life be green and flourishing like Carmel and Sharon. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 2. And blossoming it shall blossom. This is your promise to John and Valet because of your kingdom, Heavenly Father. In Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let all of John and Valet's desert places bloom and come alive like Sharon. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 2. Father, I ask that you water John and Valet's life and let it blossom like Carmel. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Father, I ask that you let waters gush forth in every wilderness area of John and Valet's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 6-7. Father, I ask that you let John and Valet's dry place become a pool. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 6-7. Father, I ask, Father God, I pray that water will gush forth in the wilderness and stream, Father God, in John and Valet's life in the desert, places in their lives, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that the burning sin will become a pool in John and Valet's life, and the thirsty ground bubbling springs in John and Valet's life, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Isaiah 35, 6-7 In Jesus Christ's name Lord, I ask that you let John and Valet feed upon the abundance of Carmel In Jesus Christ's name, Jeremiah 50, 19 Lord, I ask that you let your streams flow into John and Valet's lives And let it become abundant like Carmel and Sharon In Jesus Christ's name, Father God Lord, I thank you that there are no waste places in John and Valet's life, but John and Valet's lives is as abundant as Carmel, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let joy and rejoicing increase in John and Valet's life, Heavenly Father. The joy of Carmel, the joy of Carmel and Sharon, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let the majesty, the majesty and glory of Lebanon be upon John and Valet's life in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I ask that you let all John and Valet's desert places blossom as the rose in Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 1. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that John and Valet received the abundance and prosperity of Carmel and Sharon in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I ask that you let the winter season in John and Valet's life come to an end and let the flowers appear in John and Valet's life, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Song of Solomon. 
2 verses 11 through 13. Lord, I ask that you let John and Violet's life blossom as the fig tree in Jesus Christ's name, Song of Solomon, 2 verses 11 through 13. Lord, I ask that you let John and Violet's life be fruitful like the vine in Jesus Christ's name, Song of Solomon, 2 verses 11 through 13. Lord, I ask that you let your fragrance manifest in John and Violet's life, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Song of Solomon 2 verses 11 through 13. Father, I ask that you let the blessing and prosperity of the myrtle tree be upon John and Violet's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 55 13. Lord, I ask that you let the blessing and the fragrance of the pine be upon John and Violet's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 60, 13. Father, I ask that you let John and Violet flourish. That you let John and Violet flourish like the palm tree. In Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 92, 12. Father, I ask that you let John and Violet grow like the cedar in Lebanon. In Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 92, 12. Oh, Father God, I ask that you let every area of John and Violet's life grow like the lily. In Jesus Christ's name, Hosea 14, 5. Lord, I thank you that John and Violet received the fullness of Carmel, the blessing and prosperity of the kingdom. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Lord, I ask that you let the fruitfulness Heavenly Father, that you will let the fruitfulness increase in every area of John and Valis' life like Sharon, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that John and Valet received the plenty and abundance of Carmel in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that John and Valet's lives is changing and becoming like Carmel and Sharon in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Lord, I ask that you let all John and Violet's fields blossom and be fruitful like Carmel and Sharon. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Heavenly Father, now I'm praying prayers for the glory of Lebanon over John and Violet. Father, I ask that you let the glory of Lebanon come into John and Violet's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 35, 2. Father, I ask that you let the excellency, excellency, I cannot get that word out to save my life, that you let the excellency of the cedars of Lebanon come into John and Violet's life in Jesus Christ's name, Song of Solomon 515. Father, I thank you that John and Violet receive the majesty of Lebanon because John and Violet are in the kingdom. They are in your kingdom, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I ask, Father God, that you let John and Violet grow and be strong as the cedars of Lebanon. In Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 92, 12. Father, I ask that you let the beauty of Lebanon be upon John and Violet's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 60, 13. Father, I ask that you let John and Violet ascend to the heights of Lebanon and live in your high places, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 2.13. Father, I ask that you let John and Violet have the strength of the cedars of Lebanon. In Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, I ask that you let the fruitfulness and abundance of Lebanon be upon John and Violet's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 72, 16. Lord, I ask that you let the glory of Lebanon be released from the building of your temple, the church, Father God, and into John and Violet's life, into the uh, village where they live, Father God, in Pakistan, with the orphans and the children, in Jesus Christ's name, with their children. In Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I thank you that you have created Lebanon for your glory, Heavenly Father. And it is a symbol of the majesty of your kingdom, Heavenly Father. And I ask that you let the reality of Lebanon be released in John and Violet's life, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I ask that you plant John and Violet as a tree of Lebanon. And let John and Violet... Grow strong because of your blessing, Heavenly Father, upon them in their lives. In Jesus Christ's name. 
Lord, I ask that you let all John and Valid waste places become like the abundance of Lebanon in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I ask that you let the river of God flow from your holy mountain and water John and Valid's land and let it become like Lebanon in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Father, I ask that you let the mountain, that you let the mountain glories of Lebanon come into John and Valid's life in Jesus Christ's name, Father. Lord, I ask that you let your rain fall upon John and Valet's life and let John and Valet grow like the trees of Lebanon in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that John and Valet will clap their hands and praise you, Heavenly Father, and John and Valet will rejoice like the trees of Lebanon in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let even John and Valet's clothes be scented like the cedars of Lebanon in Jesus Christ's name. Psalm, Song of Solomon 411 in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask that you let the streams of Lebanon flow into John and Valet's life in Jesus Christ's name. Song of Solomon 414. Hallelujah, Father God. Father, now I'm going to pray prayers for the blessing of Achor in John and Violet's life, Father God. Through Christ Jesus, Father God, I thank you that John and Violet are redeemed from the curse and John and Violet's Achor has turned into a blessing in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I ask, Father God, that you let the blessing of Achor be upon John and Violet's life in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that John and Violet will will lay, I'm sorry, I thank you, Father God, that John and Violet will lie down and rest in the valley of Achor in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that John and Violet will live in the valley of blessing and enjoy the blessings of Achor in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that you have brought John and Violet to your valley of blessing and John and Valley. And John and Valet will enjoy the peace and prosperity of Achor in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that you are John and Valet's shepherd, and John and Valet shall not want in Jesus Christ's name. Psalm 23, 1. Father God, I thank you that you make John and Valet to lie down in green pastures, and you have restored John and Valet's soul. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 23, 2-3. Father, I thank you that John and Violet will enjoy the green pastures of Achor, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that John and Violet will enjoy the abundance and prosperity of Achor, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Father God, I thank you that Achor is John and Violet's habitation, because John and Valet are a part of your flock, Heavenly Father God, and they are your children, your beloved children, Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I ask that you command your blessings upon John and Valet in Achor, in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you that John and Valet have left the valley of the shadow of death and John and Valley have come to Achor in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that there is no strife in John and Valley's valley, but John and Valley will enjoy the blessings of peace in Achor in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, I ask that you let the beauty of Achor and Sharon be upon John and Valley's life, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that John and Valet have come into your sheepfold, Heavenly Father. And I ask that you feed John and Valet and Sharon and Achor, Heavenly Father, including all their children, too, in Pakistan in the orphanages, in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you, Father God, that John and Valet will be satisfied with your abundance in Sharon and Achor, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, that John and Valet and the orphan children in Pakistan in their village have more than enough. And John and Valid and their children, Father God, live in the prosperity and blessing of Sharon and Achor, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. 
Hallelujah.